the story of Adam and Eve in the Bible. It was so easy when we believed this story was original, totally original. Well, now we, we're discovering that these stories were based on, were earlier stories in the Sumerians, by the Sumerians. Was that in, in Eve real? A tree of knowledge, a tree of the knowledge of good and evil. What if it's all symbolic? I mean, what if what's really going on is, you see, the way we are now, we none of us would really be happy in a perfect world. It would get very, very boring quick. I mean, who doesn't love a good murder mystery where there's a bad guy? And finally, the good, good guy wins in the end, and the bad guy's caught. Who, I, who doesn't love a story like that? How in the hell can we appreciate the good if we don't want to know what evil is? Who doesn't? I mean, everybody want. Who doesn't want the chest? It's called ego. Everyone has got it. Everyone has got one. We wanna. Be the big, we want to be the big fish. We want what we want, what makes us happy. Whether it's the alone family, whether it's a, an adoring fan base as a celebrity, whether it's the pig out at the buffet. If all you could do was good things, it would be, it would get boring really, really fucking quick. And who doesn't love to get in a good fist fight? And it, because he's standing up for something that he really loves and believes in. Who doesn't love to rock a guy's head with his fists and feel good about himself? Who doesn't like the some good old fashioned American competition where if he wins, he gets to be the star for hit 15 minutes in fame. Who doesn't love that? And this is what mankind really wants. So what if God created, what if when Satan sinned, this universe was plunged into a universe of death and decay? And when God created man, What if he evolved and man was eventually given a spirit? And since we live in this cursed world where well, it's good and evil, we had this knowledge of we had the knowledge of good and evil, not because we wanted it first, but because it's what we would have wanted it had we been given a choice. That for the express purpose of getting seen being able to see good and evil and having a choice set before them. Do you just take, take the good? Do you take, which ultimately is God and Jesus Christ? Or do you choose the evil? If that is the case, why in the fuck didn't you say that, God, in the first place? If you're even real. It was so much easier when we could believe in Adam and Eve. So much fucking easier. But then, in retrospect, you looking back. Let's look at Adam and Eve. Something Here's something that has always confused us, but we just gloss over it. We choose to just throw it aside. Let's see how. And Adam knew Eve his wife. 
and she considered in Bear, Bear King. This is uh, Genesis 4, verse 1. And it said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. That's the, the firstborn was Cain. And she bare, and she again bare his brother Abel. Okay. Let's go to chapter 5. And the verse, uh, for, uh, verse 1. This is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day that God created man, in the likes of God made he man, him. Male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam. In the day when they were created and called their name Adam. You see that? Not his name, but their name Adam. Their name Adam. Their, plural. And Adam lived 130 years and begot a son. That they, they had bodies that had no genetic deficiencies. And his sex drive was so weak, he waited till he was 130 fucking years old to have his first child. Well, somebody, someone might say, well, we don't know how long he was in the garden. So let's read on. And, and the days of Adam, after he began, okay, Seth. And Seth lived a hundred and five years and begot Enos. Waited a hundred fun waited a hundred and five fuck waited a hundred and five fucking years to have a kid. When the, all the people living were Adam, Eve, Cain. And Seth, and of course Seth, uh, Cain, his wife. Where did he? Where did he get his wife? And if she was his sister, instead of what like, inspiring philosophy says about that, I'm not going to bother to tell you why. Is, why in the fuck is she not named? I'm angry. I'm sorry. I'm angry. God holds over our head the threat of eternal damnation. And he expects us to believe that a square has three sides. I'm all for having faith, but reasonable faith. Not having to be some dumb ass hillbilly hick Christian that believes the earth is flat. Augustine and John Wesley said when you become a Christian basically kiss your kiss your desire for knowledge goodbye in other words become a dumbass I disagree if God's truth why should be he be afraid of us discovering the truth fuck Adam no, no fuck Augustine and fuck John Wesley when they said that fuck them no if God is afraid of the truth, then I have to ask, is he really truth? The truth should love itself. God damn it. God fucking damn it. God fuck it. I'm angry. God fuck it.